You know when I'm doing these videos day in day out I really do get mixed up sometimes and I almost started off this video by saying hi everyone this is Dave from Geek and Noise but of course I'm not doing this on the Geek and Noise channel this is one of the daily tech TV Q&A sessions so I'm going to kick this session off with a really good question from Matrix Yoda. First of all I love the name Matrix Yoda, really great. Uh, now Matrix Yoda is saying great vid, thank you. But how do you know for sure when the iPad 3 is coming out? And do you know when new iMacs are coming? Well, I never know for sure. Um, it's just by reading the rumors and looking at previous release dates of iPads uh, that, that you get an idea of, of when things are gonna actually be launched. And the iPad 3 rumors are building up now as I'm recording this. And it really does look as though we might get a March 7th um, sort of time frame for an Apple event and hopefully uh, an announcement that the iPad 3 is available then but if not they'll probably be revealing the specifications and saying it's available next month or the month after. So certainly March is the time frame when we're expecting to receive details of the new iPad 3. And the same goes for the iMac. The iMac was really due to be revised uh, about a week or so ago. Uh, from history of iMac releases, there's been 280 days between iMac releases, or at least I think I've got that figure right, I'm sure it was 280 days between each iMac release. They really were due a couple of weeks back. So again, iMac uh, updates are due any day now, and they may well be in that March time frame as well. So that's how you sort of know when they're coming, is just by really looking back through past release dates. It's going to be a really exciting year for Apple because I'm looking forward to this iPad 3, hoping it gets the Retina display and upgraded cameras. Really looking forward to the new iMacs as well, um, purely because I want to bring you guys and girls a review of the new iMac. They're going to have updated processors. I'm thinking they might lose that optical drive and who knows, they might even upgrade the displays in them as well, but certainly they're going to continue with this SSD options on, on the iMac range and I'm really excited to get my hands on one. So again, great question. Thank you very much for posing me the questions in the Q&A sessions. Please do keep the questions coming because I really do enjoy doing these Q&As. Leave me new comments in the uh, comment section below this video. Also, you can send me an email, geekanoids at gmail.com with tech Q&A in the subject line or grab my free iOS app, it's free of charge in the iTunes app store, and then you can get me questions that way as well. Until next time, enjoy your technology, and I will see you all in the next video.